Zenit Kazan and Lubeci Vitanova will play in the Grand Final in the Champions League this Saturday, 18th of May. In their last match, Lube won in a dramatic fashion after a great comeback in the tiebreak during Club World Championship 2018. What will happen this time? What are the tactics both teams shall exploit in order to win? Let's start with Lube. In terms of serve, an obligatory part of the job is to avoid Alexei Verbov. His percentages when receiving, both hard and float serve, are very high, also the side-out percentage of the team after his reception. Lube can try to aim at Matthew Anderson when he is first throw in order to isolate him from spiking. Earning a pet especially has certain problems when he needs to receive a lot of float serves. In terms of reception, it is advisable for Lube to receive the high efficient serve of Maxim Mikhailov in a rotation with the libero Fabio Balazzo in the middle of the formation due to the fact that the hard serve of Mikhailov is mostly directed to position 5-6. In case you want to know more about the serve of Mikhailov, you can click on the info box. Since the efficiency of the serve of Mikhailov is great, it's better for Lube just to keep the ball high in play and not to try to receive perfectly at all costs. Another option is to receive with 4 people and Svetan Sokolov in position 1. The fact that he is not a decent receiver is a limited issue since Mikhailov is rarely serving hard there. When it comes to the float serve reception, I'll examine it later in the Zenit part of the video. In terms of block defense tactics, it will be essential for Lube to limit the attack of Maxim Mikhailov, especially on high ball, where his kill rate is massive. His overall efficiency is also huge. What should Zenit do? In terms of float serve, Zenit will aim at Yuan Di Lao, whose reception is weak, of course, if Lube receives with three players. The reception of Juan Torrena is very good and he has also high side out percentage. Reversely, if Lube receives with only two players, the Libero Bavazo has significant problems due to the fact that he should cover half of the court. In a formation of three, Balazzo is certainly more stable. However, regarding the hard serve, Zenit should avoid Balazzo, where his efficiency is bigger, and direct the serve towards Leao or Juan Torrena. In terms of reception, Zenit can try to receive the serves of Juan Torrena, Sokolov and Leao with four players since Maxim Mikhailov is also good in receiving. When it comes to block defense, if Zenit succeeds to break the reception of Lube, the Russians shall limit Juan Torrena and Sokolov on high ball, where they have a nice kill rate over 50%. It has to be taken into account that Sokolov has lower efficiency than Juan Torrena overall, and he is prone to make errors or to be called by the block in certain situations. What will happen in the final according to your opinion? Comment in the section below and subscribe to the channel.